Hello everyone for this new How to Paint Yakuza, the new edition for the Nephilim in Eden, the game. We will treat the skin as an alien skin, a battle-worn yellow for the armor, and some non-metallic. Let's get painting. <music> To start off, you can see the, the mini was base coated with barbarian flesh and got some little splash of black with the airbrush because I had some still left in it. So I uh, begin basing the yellow in a uh, Japanese uniform. You'll notice that the mini on, is on a 40mm base, uh, so you need to be careful when you put it on a big base as it is quite huge. Once all the armor is base coated, uh, I'll base a non-metallic with some kind of wolf grey, wolf grey, sorry, which is a kind of neutral grey with hints of blue. That's not too dark, not too bright. Quite easy to darken and highlight. Then we will start to add some shadows on the skin with uh, some matte earth to give some volume to the mini. We push it uh, in the recesses to do so. On this mini we have some, uh, some very defined edges and volumes. Uh, so it's quite easily done. Once the shadows are set, we will add some lights uh, on the skin with necrotic flesh. As usual, I push the paint uh, in the direction that suits me. Uh, if you're used to seeing me, you're used to it. So here we push the necrotic flesh uh, in the lighter zones, uh, just to put some basic highlights in. Before painting, I never hesitate to carefully check the mini under a bright light uh, to see where the lights will go. That helps me. Once the steps are over, I'll come with a reddish brown to start darkening extremi the extremity of uh, the Nephilim. So to do so, um, I'll push the, the paint towards the extremity to have the darker part on the end and the feet. Well there the feet are, are not showing so not there but you get the idea. The face as well for example. So there I darken uh, its forehead for example. Uh, and so I can add the spots that are very um, usual on the Nephilim color scheme. For the little story, the inspiration of the Nephilim comes from several places, uh, as well as Predator, so that explains the little spots on its skins. So there I come back with black to add some delimitation to some zones, and put some extreme shadows. I am careful not to put any on the light as uh, I don't want to crush any any light we already put. There I use, uh, I use some uh, blue gray to, uh, to do the tube because they weren't done beforehand. There I come with some black, added uh, some uh, to the reddish brown to even darken the, the, the shadows, for example, on the, sh on the forehead. I darken uh, the skin as much as I can to have it go to black on all the extremities uh, of the alien skin. While I'm using black, I'll take the opportunity to put some shadows on the non-metallic. You might not see it, but we are doing it on the blades. Uh, I always uh, separate the blades in several zones um, to have the shadow uh, go in the same direction. Uh, and uh, I alter it with the lights as well. 
there I come with a highly diluted black and tap some of it to start creating the typical spots. So the, there the idea is to be very patient and uh, delicate while trying to be as random as possible. Be very light with them. Uh, you don't want to have anything too regular and uh, the ir irregularity give them that natural look. So be patient and tap to let some space between the spots as well. I'll then come back with some necrotic flesh to give my highlights a boost on the breast for example, shoulder and face as well. This is also a great opportunity to correct the possible mistakes on the forehead uh, spots for example, if you make some mistakes. But the idea is to have some bright highlight on uh, the important parts. Then I'll come back with some ivory added to the blue-grey. Uh, you'll see the non-metallic is starting to shape up as I will add the light opposite to the shadow we created earlier to create a very stark contrast. Uh, I will use this method on all the blades. She has a curved blade so it can be weird but the idea is to take uh, the blade and uh, separate into parts and have white on the side and black on the other end that way uh, you have an opposite effect and uh, that's how non-metallic works so there you can see uh, I, I do it right there one is light the other is dark don't hesitate to check the other non-metallic videos I made uh, which have simpler blades if you are a bit lost on this one. I'll then simply come back with some ivory added to my skin tone to add some more highlights. This is kind of my go-to technique. I don't hesitate to put the light strongly on the top of the head to have some very strong lights for example. Do that on the shoulders and torso too. My uh, my gesture can seem repetitive, but it's quite important as you want to have a, a nice light added to the melee. We'll continue our non-metallic with some black. We'll put it down and exaggerate it to create the contrast, an even more con uh, contrasty look. So there you see it's next to the to the black. And there I do it on the curved blades, but do it on both. I also uh, come back with black to to add some more some more contrast on the skin. I come back again with my skin tone there to boost lights even more. It's necrotic flesh uh, paint I'm using. This is the typical color scheme I'm using for the for the nephilim. So, uh, if you go, uh, for example, if you go on the forum uh, or on it in the game worldwide, uh, you will be able to see a lot of painters sharing their their method and uh, miniatures. Don't hesitate to post your own, as it, it's always nice to see everyone's take on a mini. There, I come back with ivory to enhance the edges of the blades and uh, make my anime, my non-metallic, sorry, uh, even more credible. This is, this is just the best way to achieve a, a good and credible non-metallic. So as I was saying, uh, don't hesitate to join us on Eden Worldwide and uh, as well on the Dingue de Jeu YouTube channel. Uh, there's also Gregorik's YouTube channel. That shows quite a lot of painting, tutorial, very much quality content. YouTube also has great videos. So yeah, just don't hesitate to join us. It's always nice to set to share our hobby around. So there I zoomed in for you to see where I put the light on the metal. Uh, I do kind of the same and put light dots on the skin with ivory to boost the highlight even more. 
I also use it near the spots to make them stand out even more. I come back with black uh, to, to I'll come back with black afterwards to add some more demarcation as well on the forward spots. There you see I use the black to it's just to, to have them stand out even more and be, be more credible. I'll also use this black to add some demarcation on the on certain zone like that mechanical bra like thing. Um, it helps how the skin stand out even more. I do the same on on a lot of armor zones. Uh, this method is a good way to have a very much readable piece because it it gives you know uh, a good differentiation in between each pieces. I will then start working on the armor with uh, a gold yellow from Prince August. This is to boost my yellow. The Japanese uniform we used is not vivid but covers well and then the gold yellow will cover the Japanese un uniform very well and give us some nice lights. It's a very efficient way to push the light zones and have a, a good, a good, it's a good method to have a good highlights. I sometimes ship and uh, and take shortcuts uh, with this color because I need some zones to be even more bright. With yellow, we do not hesitate to add a lot of light and nice transitions as well. Be careful with the direction of the light as well, otherwise you have a not so credible effect. Once the lights are done, I will use some chocolate brown to put some shadows and put in some of the details to have them stand out. Um, for example, there on the forearm, I'm coming in very lightly uh, for the paint to fall in the recesses and it just, it just shows the details that were not visible before and uh, with those steps, you want to be careful and put it uh, in, not not put it on the light. Sorry, uh, because it will crush the the work it's, you've done before. As you can see, you can put the shadows next to the lights. Uh, it gives a, a nice effect. I then come back with the same paint uh, with some black added to it to start putting some uh, scratches and impacts on the armor, armor to give it a weathered look. And it just stands out even more with some black added to it. Usually you can use blister foam for this kind of uh, weathering, but this mini is quite fine and, uh, and small. So just use the brush, it will be simpler. The only disadvantage with this technique is you have to be random and not overdo it, otherwise it will ruin the, the effect. If you're not random enough, it won't work as well. You, have, you just have to train a bit and be chaotic enough, but, but yeah, not to messy as well. You can see now that the mini is well on its way. So I'll come back with my yellow with some ivory added to it uh, to give the armor uh, a bit more of a lighter tone and highlight it even more. I will also use this uh, this color to underline all the small scratches and, uh, and use the things we just did with the, the, the brown black. This is done uh, to create an illusion of depth. You know, if you add some uh, some underline underneath, it's it just creates some uh, some volume. 
There I continue adding the light, especially on the edges, and then I will do the scratches as, as I said right there. Once this is done, I come back with black to darken the ends and other dark zones on the extremities, for example. This is to create even more contrast. I won't stop coming, uh, me coming back to the highlight there, to highlight them uh, with ivory uh, afterwards. But there it gives us a good visual of what the finished mini will look like. So that there, as I'm using black, I do not hesitate to come add some to the zone I feel needed. There I come back and highlight the ends and fingers, for example. Uh, to do so I use highly diluted ivory. And I just push it in the, the, the direction that suits me. There, uh, with some yellow and quite a lot of ivory, I add even more light to my armor to have it very much stand out. I do like light spots, uh, as usual in my uh, videos, to have a very stark contrast with everything. To finish it off, uh, I will come with a neutral grey uh, and brush it on the base. Then I'll add some matte earth in the center. I'll finally add some orange to the matte earth as a, pine, as a final touch. Very simply done. I hope you like this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe. It's always appreciated. We are now uh, 1900 subs. I hope we will soon be 2000. I'm very glad I started this one year ago and to be followed by much people. Uh, my Patreon is also out now, so try and uh, give it a look because uh, if you help me, it will give me some more time to do more content. As always, you can comment and give me uh, and tell me what you think. Give me your uh, your comebacks on it and everything. I always read the, the comments. Uh, thank you everyone. So this mini, as well as I already said, is uh, from the French game Eden. Please do check this site out. Uh, it's a post-apocalyptic world. It's great. You also can check the Dingue de Jeu channel and L'Atelier du Tif great channels as well. I'll leave you there with the final product and uh, remember, take some time to play. See you soon.